Here are the supplies that you will need to make this bag. You're going to need this tubular metal frame that opens up like that. And I'm going to link below in the description box on where to purchase that. The one that I have is 12 inches wide. You'll also need a pair of pliers and the pliers are going to help you remove the pins and, and also reinstall the pins. You'll also need some tabs on the sides of the bag in order to kind of open it up a little bit easier. And I used leather and mine is one inch wide by one and a half inches tall. And of course you can use fabric or any other material that you like. I'm going to be doing a surface treatment on my bag, stitching around the shapes. So I'm also going to be needing some sashiko thread. And I created a template with all the dimensions because I had to cut a lot of different pieces. So I'm just going to go over the size with you. The width of the template is 18 inches wide and then 13 inches tall. And the gussets are three inches. You will also need some sort of top band pieces that you're going to sew um, to the top edge of the bag. And this is what the tubular um, frame is going to slide into. And that dimension is two and a half inches tall by 18 inches wide. And if you don't have wax canvas, you can use any sort of other type of fabric. Just make sure that if it is lightweight that you're going to put a, a piece of interfacing, iron-on interfacing on the back just to give it a little bit more stiffness. And if you don't have that, you can also cut another piece of fabric to kind of um, put on the back and then just sew along the sides to um, put the two pieces together. You will need a front and the back piece and you can use any fabric you want. If you're going to use a light to medium weight fabric, it's advisable to put iron-on interfacing on the back. And because I'm doing sort of like a, a stitching um, you know, surface design, I'm going to be putting a piece of batting on the back of the piece, so that's going to give it a bit more body. So you'll need two pieces of that. And then for the lining, I'm using a canvas fabric, and I'm also going to include a pocket, and the pocket is 7 inches tall by, I believe this is 13 or 14? It's 14. So 7 inches tall by 14 inches and I'm going to probably sew along the middle there just to give myself two pockets. I'm going to start with the next step by showing you how I'm going to be doing this surface design here, and then I'll show you how to sew the bag. Before I show you the stitching, what you want to do is you want to take the top fabric and just lay it right on top of the batting and use some safety pins just to pin a few spots just to keep it from moving while you're stitching. I wanted to add this back stitch along the edge of the pattern just to kind of give it a little bit more of a visual detail. And I mean, you could do this on any type of fabric that you have that's printed. You could stitch around the edge and it'll just kind of make the image pop a bit more. I like doing this with a piece of batting in behind because I feel like it gives it a nicer feel when you're stitching and also it um, gives it a little bit more body as well. I'm going to go around and stitch both panels. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like before we start to sew. So I'm only doing this on the front piece and then the the batting piece. I'm not putting another piece of fabric underneath. This is what it looks like. Here's the finished panels all sewn up. That's what the back looks like. What we're going to do now is you're going to take the two pieces and put the good sides together. And then what you're going to do is you're going to sew along this side, the bottom side here, and then along this side. And I would use 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. Then after I've sewn this, I'm going to show you how I sew the gusset. 
All three sides are sewn, and to do the gusset, you just stick your finger inside like that, and then just fold it like this, and then I would turn, because this is quite thick, I would turn the seams sort of opposite way. So you wanna match it up and then turn it over there, and then you wanna stitch this and do that on the other side as well. Here's the bag all sewn up. I'm gonna turn it now good sides out. And just push up the corners. The next step is to attach this to the um, outside part of the bag. So we're gonna attach it to the top edge of the bag there. And what you wanna do is for these wax canvas pieces, I'm gonna just fold it over about a little bit under a quarter and then roll it twice. So I'm creating a bit of a rolled hem. And then I'm gonna stitch along there. And after you've stitched it, you can fold it in half like this and then stitch along the open side I would just stitch along there. That way it just kind of keeps this piece together and it just makes it easier to attach. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach with all the raw sides along the edge there. I'm going to attach it like this. And then my leather piece, I'm going to put it in the center so that's going to get sewn along there. I'll show you how that looks in a second. I wanted to kind of just cover quickly how I kind of um, came to the size that I did. So this is the 12 inch um, frame and all I did was I just measured along the whole length of the frame and then I got to 17 inches and then I just added another inch. Um, for the seam allowance, because the seam allowance I do about um, three eighths of an inch, but I added a little bit more just to kind of um, make sure I had enough space. And then if it's a little bit too long, it's okay because this will just kind of bunch around the frame and it, and it still looks good. I'd rather have a little bit more than less. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and finish this attach it to the edge and then I'm going to show you what it looks like before I do the um, before I do the next step. I folded the bag in half around here and I marked with a pencil the center and that's where the little leather tab is going to go and then I wanted to show you this so I've sewn the rolled hem here and then I've stitched along the bottom just to kind of keep the two sides together and then I'm gonna place it on top of here and then kind of center it. I left a little bit of a gap. So there's about maybe about half an inch gap. And I just thought that that would make it easier for the tube to go through. But if you want it to, you can make this a little bit longer and then have it go right to the seam here if you don't wanna see any of the hardware coming through. So make sure that's centered. And these clips are great to kind of hold it in place while you're stitching it. And I would stitch this to the front and back of the bag, so the outside of the bag. And I would stitch it as close to the edge as possible. You don't want to do the seam allowance because you don't want to see the stitching. And that stitching is just to kind of tack everything down and make sure you have all your measurements. So as soon as that is done, the next step is to sew your lining together. And you're gonna sew the lining exactly the same way as you did the outside. So the only difference is you're gonna be adding the pocket. And so for the pocket, I would do the same thing. I would just do kind of like a rolled hem, stitch it along there. And then I usually kind of fold this in half to kind of get the center line. And then just center this onto one side of the lining stitch that down and then sew it exactly the same way as the outside and then I'll show you how I put the two pieces together. This is what the bag looks like with the wax canvas sewn and then there's the leather tab. So I did that on both sides 
And then here's the lining and the pocket is right there. And you can see the seam in the middle gives you two pockets. I wanted to also mention along the side here, I left an opening that's about four inches long and that is so that I could turn the bag good sides out. What you want to do is you want to take the front part of the bag and you want to put it inside the lining. Okay, so you can see that this is the, in, the, the seam allowance part, so it's the two good sides facing each other. And then what I'm going to do is stitch all around the edge here um, with the seam allowance of 3 eighths of an inch. And then I'm going to pull it out from this opening and then I'm going to stitch that up. And then the only thing that's left is the top stitching and then um, putting in the purse ring. Here's the bag all sewn up. That's what the gusset looks like. I top stitched it all along here. On the inside, this is where the seam was, where the opening is. And um, now the only step next that we have to do is to insert the frame. So let me show you how that's done. So we're getting down to the final step of inserting this frame. So just kind of keep in mind how it kind of opens and closes so you know how it connects together. To take out the pins, you just need your pliers. You want to squeeze it where it has the tension. So you just want to squeeze it there. And then just pull the pin out like that. So then that's the pin there and then it comes apart. You're going to do that on the other side as well, so just give it a little squeeze and then pull at the pin. Now what we're going to do is insert this into the bag. So you could see on this frame there's a flat side, so that's going to be facing the outside and then the part that has the curve is going to be facing the inside of the bag, so keep that in mind when you're inserting the frame. So you're going to slide it in and it's a little tricky because the frame itself is shaped. So you're just going to kind of just keep sort of sliding it in and then turning it around. You might have to turn it this way to push it in. You just got to kind of coax it. So I'm just going to kind of push it out so that I could see the end. Sometimes it gets a little stuck on the, the seam, so there it's out. So there's one side inserted and it fits perfectly. Now I'm going to do the other side and I'm keeping in mind that I, the flat side is facing the outside. Um, if you don't get it in right, it's, it's um, a little hard to turn it around so you're going to have to insert it, reinsert it. So just keep that in mind. So now I'm going to do the other side. And the wax canvas is actually kind of nice because it makes it glide really nicely. So we have both sides. The ends are sticking out. Now what I'm going to do is reinsert the pins. So I've pushed out the ends. You could pull back a bit of the wax canvas just so that you have a little bit more of the grip. So they slip in together really easily. And then what you do is you push, you make sure all the holes are kind of lined up and then you push this down. And then you take the pin and you put it in. And it didn't go all the way in, so I usually kind of move the pliers and then just push down at the bottom there. And then just kind of coax it down. And there, 
the pin is inserted. And then you don't have to worry about the pin coming out because of the, the tension of the, the frame kind of keeps the pin in place. And that's why you need it, the pliers, is to kind of push down on that tension. I'm going to do it on the other side. So it's just so much easier to push all that fabric out. And there you have it. Here's the finished bag. I really like this opening. It kind of reminds me of like a doctor's bag. And you just pull the two tabs here. And you can get into your bag very easily. And then there's the pockets. So it'd be great as like a purse or a project bag. I really hope you enjoy this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.